Hello and welcome back to my channel. I got gloves on. Uh, you must think that I'm going to work with some really, some chemicals or something. Worse. If you read the, if you read the title, this is what we're taking apart. A printer, scanner. I'm not so scared of uh, getting cut, but the ink, that's far worse. That's far worse than getting cut. Because everywhere you go, people will point at you and say, you tried to refill your ink cartridges, didn't you? And if you ever done it, you know what I mean. They give you a pair of gloves, but yeah, they're, they're it's okay. Anyways... We got a HP PhotoSmart C4480. Lovely. It's already all inked up and looks like it's been sat in the weather. I tried uh, using a cordless microphone and unfortunately that didn't work out my last two videos. I'm like, sounds like I'm like talking from across the street. Sorry about that. So, first thing we're going to do. What is the first thing we're going to do? I bet you these side panels just pop right off because I don't see any, really any screws that, that are holding it. We'll try that. Try T9. Oh, lucky day. If you happen to see my subscriber count, I'm up to 299. Who's going to be 300? did that, but it did. And, oh, here we go. Screws on this side, too. I did not see them. Maybe because I was wearing my glasses. It's not even in frame here. Change the 
cartridge. This will come down. And a couple more screws up in the front here. I do printers I don't I don't go too crazy on it with as far as wires and stuff like that because they're so thin and it's really a waste of uh, waste of effort and these are 10 these here get up underneath there just give it a little twist get it started be careful with this because Ginger, gingerly, gingerly. See if this one will be nicer.
started with another piece of paint gloves here. Part not uh, light fixtures. Those are pretty dirty. So now get this cartridge carriage out. E clip on the side here. cover off out of the way. E clip here. That's gonna do this in. Maybe be good to me. That way. Okay. Now we got that out. This assembly pull right out. Now, this top part comes off, this part here, we will use this guy. Screws holding this board in. Nice gold contacts there. The rest of that's plastic. This paper shield off. I see chip underneath. there. Okay. This is the logic board.
crystal crystal oscillator, QIC chips, gold corner VGA, ten supply in it other than really these really thin wires there's really nothing else in this thing take this put it in with your shred there's still a lot of steel in there I mean, if, you're, if your yard takes copper motors, there's a little one in here, other than that. had an exterior uh, adapter. A lot of times when they have just direct plug, there will be another uh, transformer for it. It changes the uh, higher wattage down to a lower volt and lower watts. These are that's a uh, tin coated, they're not bold. So that's that was the photo smart. On oh, focus. Photo Smart C forty four eighty. And these little guys over here that came from the cartridges. And there's a couple a couple of the thoughts over here. I'll grab those later. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. Uh, it helped me out if you comment, subscribe. Ring the ring the bell notifications. Uh, I'd like to do. I want to do some more mechanical stuff uh, as far as on on either one of my trucks. To uh, do a few more tips of that. Uh, if you want to see more of that or more of refining, or if you want me to just continue showing videos of me taking stuff apart and, uh, and then we'll harvest the uh, harvest the chips and stuff that goes on that stuff that stuff that's a longer process unless you buy the stuff on eBay or you buy the, or you get the get the stuff already already pre-done but um, yeah, so, I mean, I appreciate you watching. Peace. Whoa, Lefty. Whoa, 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 whoa. You forgot this.
over. like there's any screws that are holding this in. Not. This guy here. This is what we're after. Okay. Now this. All you do is give it a twist. Sometimes they have screws in them. These have little little plastic rivets holding it in. And you gotta be careful taking this off and you'll see why. On the other side, there's old bonding wires gone all the way across here. All the way across. And then old bonding wires. I'll take a I'll take a picture. right there. That's what the inside of an IC chip looks like.